does 21 things. 21, can you do something for me? Literally, can you do something for me? So. to my channel in today's video I'm gonna be doing a hair update this is probably the most requested video on my channel so if you want to know what are the new updates with my hair what's going on did I cut it and what are all the products and tools that I'm currently using then please keep watching so don't forget to like comment and subscribe you guys I'd like to know continue to know that you guys like these hair videos because my routine does not change very often as you're gonna see in this routine there are a few new products but not many I tend to stick with what works for me but every six months or so I do try to introduce new products into my routine so let's get started with a quick update just to show you guys my hair I am relaxed don't shoot me. I know that can be kind of controversial and I'm not sure why. I feel like hair is such a thing that doesn't matter and I don't mean that in a bad way. I just mean that there are so many more important parts of a person than their hair. So I do get some interesting comments sometimes about being relaxed and I get it. In a perfect world, I would be natural. I would have a salon in my home and I would have a hairstylist come and do my hair weekly. But I don't have that luxury. So I have a relaxer because that's what works best for me. I have had to sacrifice the health of my hair, but I am very understanding of that. And basically all the products and things that I do with my hair just help keep it as strong as it can be because I know that I'm damaging it. I am not uh, delusional when it comes to hair care. I have been natural probably most of my life. I didn't get a relaxer until like I was 13. And then at 18, I went natural natural again and then I think in my 20s when I was living in New York City when my hair was literally down to the small of my back I will post the picture I got a relaxer because I had twice as much hair as I have now and it was taking way too many hours to do my hair. So I have opted for a relaxer because of convenience. That is just what it is and I have had to pay for it. So a few years ago in 2020, my hair started breaking off in a U shape in the back. My hair was longer on the outsides and it was breaking at the bottom back of my head. Usually that happens if you wear a lot of tight ponytails, but I'm not a ponytail girl. I think I was having a vitamin deficiency and of course it was 2020. I was dealing with a ton of stress in my life. My life is still a little stressful, but I'm able to better deal with that now. I am trying to take vitamins, but I'll be honest, I'm not the best, but I try to just treat my hair as best as I can. I have always tried to treat my hair as if it were already damaged, so that's my first tip. If you have relaxed hair, it pretty much is damaged and processed. So treat it as if it were a lot, a lot damaged. These are the things that I use in my hair currently that I'm going to show you today. But this is the state of my hair right now. As you can see, it is full and thick. Um, as for length, it's about to here, like my bra area. I'm not so much focused on my hair length though, I'm focused on health. So I have been through periods on my channel where I had a bob and I didn't mind having Lorena Bobbitt, that's what I called her, because I would rather have healthy, shorter hair than long, thin hair. And I know for some people they don't mind, but give me healthy hair always. So that's kind of where we are with my hair right now. It's healthy, it's flourishing, it's growing. I do relax my hair every four months though, because I was so used to being natural. A little bit of rootage doesn't bother me, so I relax my hair every four months. That also helps to kind of stretch out that period of time so I'm not over processing my hair. Um, I get my hair trimmed every two to four months depending on like how it is. Sometimes I go in for my four month relaxer and trimming and my ends only need to be dusted. So it kind of just depends on what my internal health is looking like. Am I drinking enough water? Which that's all I drink, water and coffee. And how am I taking care of my hair? So right now we are flourishing and doing well. This is three days post relaxer and I'm I'm very pleased with the health of my hair. I also do have gray hair. 
I'm not sure if you guys can see. I don't dye my hair because uh, that was a journey for me. I used to hate the fact that I grayed early. And no, I don't have anything wrong with me. I am part Asian and that's a part of my heritage. All of my Asian side of the family, they grayed very early. I got my first gray hair when I was 15. I probably wanted to dye. <laughs> I know that's extreme, but like what 16 year old starts graying? And in 2020, I just went on a journey of accepting my gray hair and now I love it. I can't wait to have all gray hair. It doesn't make me feel old, but I'm also not here to tell you that you have to embrace your gray hair. You do what you feel is best for you and I am in support of that. But for me, I like to be relaxed and gray. <laughs> so let me kind of share with you guys the products that I'm using right now. And I'm gonna start with this mask because this mask helped my hair hair tremendously and this is a new tub that I have if you're living in Atlanta you know how hard it is to find a hairstylist a hairstylist that cares about the health of your hair a hairstylist who is not going to move every three months and one who whose salon atmosphere you can deal with I have gone to the who's who in Atlanta and baby it felt I felt like I was backstage it was a lot so I go to like what I would call an old school hairstylist that is concerned only about the health of your hair most of her clients are natural but we just we do our thing for me and this was one routine she put me on and this is my DIY hair mask using the Queen Helene super cholesterol I get this online at Walmart or you can use the regular cholesterol I don't think it matters too much so I mix this with one egg also some olive oil Oil. You don't have to do all this. I know some people think that you shouldn't be using food in your hair. Disclaimer, do what you feel is best and what works for your hair. I am not a cosmetologist. This is just the routine that mine put me on and this is what I like. This grew my hair from a bob to long hair in like six months. So it works. If you limit heat and protect your hair with products that really strengthen it, your hair will grow. I do this once a month and it really helps to maintain my hair's protein levels, especially because like I said, it is damaged because I am relaxed. Like it's not broken and damaged, but it's relaxed. That DIY hair mask has been amazing. Let's go through my shower routine. The shampoo that I'm currently using is the Bed Head by TGI Resurrection Super Repair Shampoo. Super Repair. Everything I use is kind of like prophylactically, if you will. It's to prevent these things from happening before that ends up being my fate. This is a shampoo for damaged hair. I love it, it smells like apples. I do think I'm going to switch over to the Moroccan oil products because that's what my stylist used this past time and I really like them. So currently this is my shampoo, but once I finish this bottle, I will switch to the Moroccan oil shampoo. For conditioner, I use my Ultra Beauty Deep Conditioner. This is the Balmain Deep Conditioning Treatment. This is for natural hair, but it does not weigh my hair down. It smells oh, like peppermint oil. It's so sweet and yummy smelling. This is a great product for any hair type, I think. Like I said, I have relaxed hair. It works for me. It doesn't make my hair oily or weighed down. It just gives my hair so much hydration. So I don't use a typical conditioner. I use a deep conditioner every time, with exception of my first wash. And I love this. I have repurchased it. It is very pricey, but this lasts about six months for me, and I do wash my hair every other week. Love this product. Also, in the shower I use my Cetamonia scalp massager. I really like this to help invigorate my scalp even more to really get any buildup off of my scalp to give me an intense deep clean. I also like it because it's white, it's pretty, it looks nice in my white shower. I got this from Sephora and I love it. Okay then out of the shower the next thing I will apply to my hair. You guys know I've been using this for probably a decade. This is the Redken Extreme Anti-Snap and this has protein. So this is great as well. Now, I do believe they've repackaged this. I always say I don't see a difference, but it's added protein that I feel like I should be using. So that is why I consistently use this. I love it. It strengthens your hair. 
If you're relaxed and you want to maintain your hair health, you need something with protein because that relaxer breaks down the proteins in your hair. After my anti-snap, I use the Pureology Color Fanatic Multitasking Leave and Spray. And shout out to one of my girls, Kara. She put me on to this. This basically makes my hair feel like I've left the salon. It smooths my hair and eliminates frizz and makes it so silky. Like this product is amazing. It also smells really nice. It just has a clean shampoo scent. But this does 21 things. 21, can you do something for me? Literally, can you do something for me? So it preserves color vibrancy, detangles, makes blow drying easier. It moisturizes parched hair. It helps smooth the hair fibers. It weightlessly conditions, primes for hairstyling. It protects against split ends and so on and so forth. So this is an amazing product. I don't know. Well, no, I feel like you can use this if you're natural or relaxed because I believe in the ads they have women who have curly hair. But if you wear your hair straight, you are going to feel a difference. Your hair cuticle will be smoother and just intact. This product is really amazing. I stand by it. I saw an immediate change in my hair and I love this. Once again, this is by Pureology. Next, let's talk about treatments after washing my hair. So the first one I wanna talk about is the Whey Scalp Serum. And this is basically for thicker, stronger, fuller hair. Now, I do have a fine texture of hair. I don't know if you can tell, like my hair is very fine. I just have a lot of it. Now, I don't necessarily want my hair to be thicker, but I feel like as I'm aging, it is going to happen. So I have been using the scalp serum and I do like it. The only con for me is that I have to use so much. Like I've only used this a few times and that's how much product I have missing. So it is a little pricey. You do have to use a lot, but I do feel like it helped give me a little thicker hair. Would I purchase this? This. I got this from a friend for Christmas. Would I purchase it on my own? Probably to use intermittently, but basically if you have thinning or thinner hair, you're gonna like this. I use it every so often. I do like it, but it's not like a staple, staple product. The next product, my heat protectant spray, and this is the Moroccan oil. It's so interesting. It's like I was looking for a new heat protectant spray because the one I was previously using, they don't make anymore. I found that the Moroccan oil uh, hair protectant had great reviews for relaxed hair, so I picked it up and I do like it. This is the perfect protect and this is the weightless thermal protection for heat up to 450 degrees now what I will say is this you have to let this dry completely before you start putting a flat iron on your hair. The first time I used it, I think I forgot to use it before blow drying, so my hair didn't really react well. So put this on your hair before you blow dry. I think it says to apply it to damp hair, so you probably should do that. I put it on dry hair. It makes a difference because the second time I applied it, I felt like I got a better hold of the curl. It's like an aerosol spray and it, it smells so good. It's a little masculine, <laughs> but I do like it. Just be sure to follow the instructions carefully, like I did not. <laughs> okay, and my last styling product is a dry shampoo, and this is the IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. I tried this probably two years ago. This is the Rolls Royce. The Rolls Royce of dry shampoos. It is so powerful. Uh, yeah. So how I use this product because it's so powerful. It has charcoal and it just has like the nozzle sprays a lot. I spray it into my paddle brush and then I brush it through my hair and that keeps my hair from feeling so heavy. So I do love this product. But if you've never used a dry shampoo before, you're probably gonna use too much. You might use it incorrectly and you might feel like your hair is very thick and like helmet head. So my advice would be to spray your paddle brush and then brush it through your hair. But I like this because after about four days, my hair gets oily, so I use this in my hair, and it kind of gives me like an extra few days. Styling tools, my paddle brush. This is the Olivia Garden Ceramic and Ion Paddle Brush. I love it. It also has a pick at the end. 
Oops. It has a pick at the end so you can actually part your hair. I like that. That's a nice little feature. These brushes are $20. They are expensive, but they last me like five years. So I stand by Olivia Garden brushes. They're also just high quality and cushiony. They feel nice. I also use a wide tooth kind of like shower detangling comb. This is just what I use when I take down my hair from my rack at night. And then the last comb I use, I don't know where it is, but it's my carbon comb. And it is a heat resistant comb that I use when I'm flat ironing my hair. My last miscellaneous product is my Lululemon headband and I will link this down below. They have come out with a different version. This is from like six years ago, but I love a moisture wicking headband for working out. People often ask me how I keep my hair up while working out because I do work out every day. I pull my hair back into a low loose ponytail with a silk scrunchie. I'll link my favorites down below. And then I put this around the edges of my head. I wear this during my entire workout and I don't take it off until after I'm done when I have cooled down. What this does is it helps pull your hair taut so that it's all going in one direction and even if it swells up because it's stretched, when you cool down and your hair is no longer wet, it will still be stretched. That is why I love these moisture wicking headbands so much. This is the only way I can work out and maintain fresh hair and look like this. Get yourself some moisture wicking headbands. They do not have to be Lululemon. Now let's get into my straightening tools. My Babyliss Pro Nano Titanium Blow Dryer. I love this so much. I got this probably almost a decade ago from my friend. It is very powerful. It works well. I do want to try the T3 Blow Dryer, but I want to say this has more power. And I only want the T3 because it's white and it's cute. Not to say that white is right, but it is cute. This is more powerful so I'm sticking with this. Like I said, I've had it for almost a decade and it works very, very well. I've used it in all my videos. You guys have seen this. And then we have my T3 flat iron. I have it in this case and I will link this case down below. It's a traveling case, but as you can see, my hand doesn't even fit around it. It's huge. So I don't use it to travel with per se, but I use it as like a storage case. And this is my T3 Lucia flat iron. I have the one inch and I do like this. The only con for me is that it's a very thick flat iron if you can tell from the side. I was using the GHD Classic Styler which is a lot thinner. I kind of had to find a new rhythm in curling my hair because this barrel overall is so much larger. But I have gotten used to it, I like it. The one thing I will say is that if you have very, very coarse hair, you are not gonna find that this this is hot enough. I use heat setting seven and it goes up to nine. I don't think this is hot enough if you have very, very coarse hair. But if you don't, you will find that this works just fine. It's cute, it's white with rose gold kind of accents. Really, really nice. I don't have any complaints. It just doesn't get super, super hot. Uh, I also want the T3 curling iron, but I don't know how to use a curling iron, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay guys, the last two products I wanna show you all are my bonnet and shower cap. This is my shower cap and what's special about it, it's from High Rune Hair Care, which is a black owned hair care brand. And it is satin in the inside. So it's gonna protect your hair, but it's still a shower cap on the outside. I love this. If you guys were watching my hair care videos from years ago, you know that I was struggling to find a shower cap big enough for this large cabeza. Also one that was high quality and wasn't going to rip. And I've had this for well over a year. I've had no problems with it. It's very, very high quality. No water gets in. What I will say though, tuck it underneath at the bottom so that nothing drips down to the inside material and gets wet because the inside material is not waterproof but this is big enough for me it also does have a drawstring to adjust it it's perfection if you're looking for a high quality shower cap that you're not gonna have to buy three times a year check this out Hyrun hair care I will link it down below and she also makes my favorite bonnet. So this is kind of like the mint green. Once again, it's from Hyrule Hair Care. It is adjustable. I love it. It is fully satin lined. It's comfortable. It's amazing. It doesn't slide off my head. I love it. They do sell this in this small size and a larger size if you have more hair or if you have braids. This works really, really well for me. It's a thick quality satin. I don't know if you guys can see. This is not your average beauty supply store satin. 
<coughs> polyester. I probably get a new one every year just to do new colors, but this has lasted me with well, my previous one for at least two or three years. If you need a bonnet that you're not gonna have to rebuy, that's not gonna get holes in it, you will love it. So that's all I have to share with you guys for my hair care update and my routine. Like I said, I will be trying the full line of Moroccan oil hair care. I just wanna try something out that's a bit more nourishing and I do believe they have a line for damaged hair as well because my hair is damaged because I'm relaxed. Let me know if you guys have any comments or questions down below. And yeah, I look forward to sharing another routine with you guys where I show you how I actually curl my hair, but we'll do that probably in a few months. I love you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.